everybody. Hopefully this time it works. There's a bit of a glitch on my end. So we will see. I'm just going to see if I'm working here. Sorry, I was talking for like three minutes before I realized nothing was happening. Um, so yeah, it's one of those crazy, crazy things. Um, we'll see how that goes. And I've got to just kill this. Otherwise it will be very bad. For oh, I killed my chat box. Hang on a second. I've got to bring my box back. Um, so bear with me, you guys. Something happened and I didn't have the right stuff going, which is weird because it's normally all good. Oh, look at that. It's working. Yay. I just need to grab my chat box and I can shut everything down. So it's just going to be a bit glitchy for just a second while I've got things open. Um, so good morning to you all. Thank you so much for your perseverance while I try to work out what on earth I am doing. I don't know what's going on my stream key changed so I had to I don't normally have to change that so that was something that I had to fix because you guys get nothing if my stream key is not correct um, so I'm just popping out the chat here so it's just going to be slowing my system down a little bit while I do that there we go there is the chat so kill everything else hi can you all see me <laughs> um, Please, I don't want to continue. Why does technology hate us so much? Look, I'll be really honest, you guys. There was something looking a bit hinky about my screen this morning, and I was looking at it thinking, you don't look right. Um, so I, um, and I should have realized, I tried to set it up from home to use from here. And I do that most nights. I have the thing set up, ready. But for some reason, I've got two different sorts of um, live things happening. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, I think the chat's just a little bit laggy while it does its stuff. Um, I'm just waiting to see if it fixes back up. So Kim can see me. That's fantastic. So it has been a crazy, crazy week. Um, so, um, oh, sorry, guys. So, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy week here at Fiberific. I've been having some website nightmares so it's been a bit crazy and my brain is not probably in the best place it could be and so today's question of stress crafting how do we do it um, but it's one of those things um, I've just got to send a message just to somebody who's just sent me something and, and um, I don't think they quite understood what I meant um, Hang on. Hang on. I'm trying to organize something for us today. Um, there we go. All right. Um, sorry about that. It's something I'm trying to swing for us all. So I, I hope you don't mind. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's been one of those mental crazy weeks and I have, uh, I have two modes in stress. My two stress crafting modes is either no craft happens like zero. I will sit like a vegetable in front of the TV. Um, and then I, um, yeah. And so then I sit in front of the TV and just completely like, uh, it's, it's a good way to watch shows, but it's not a good way about anything else. So um, can't see you only audio. You guys, if those of you having problems, try and refresh your screens. Um, so, cause I can see in here on my side here, like I've got it running separately. You ready for like, whoa. Um, I've got it running separately and it's working for me here. So yeah, just try and refresh your screens. We'll still be here, I promise. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll be, um, having like my brain will either just be like, nope, nope, cannot deal with anything or it'll go into, well, I have to control something mode. Like when I'm feeling completely not in control and, um, at the moment I'm waiting on other people, therefore I'm not in control. So it's like, fine, I'll finish this project and I'll finish this project and I will control the crap out of all of you guys and get all this stuff done. And so I've been like polishing off little bits and pieces. A lot of it I can't show you because it's things I've kind of been doing um, 
for, for future videos and things like that. And I haven't been doing many pre-recorded videos, so they were never they weren't a priority to get them finished. But we started up with the the videos again this week. Well, the, it was last week that I've recorded it, but this week. And so it's um, it's back into that mode of getting the things done again. So I'm like, right, I will totally need to be. Um, um, Sorry, no, that's not going to happen. But um, but yeah, so I'm totally in this like, I'll get this finished and I'll get this finished and I'll get this finished and I'll get all these things finished. So while I'm like really sh like hyper stressed about the things I can't control or the things that I'm waiting on other people for, um, I feel sorry for anybody in my life at the moment because I'm like hyper controlling everything else. So it's quite, quite funny. So um, I'm glad that the refresh screen is working for all of you guys. Um, let me know in the comments um, how you felt about the lace knitting tips video that went out yesterday. We're going to try and get them back onto the Tuesday um, Tuesday tutorials, but we had a bit of a delay. It was my fault. I didn't get some of the stuff over to Jacob in time. So Jacob edited, uh, Jacob from Atoric Designs had a go at editing one of the videos. So, um, so that was... <laughs> um, uh, I felt I'm like oh so sorry and I kept stuffing it stuffing around and stuffing it up and so it just took longer than it should have um, but we'll try and get better so today for craft I'm going to continue on with my stress talk in a second but I thought um, I would just have a little talk about today's craft and I'm working with some of Ixchel Bunny's pixie tops and they are like I've used these before but check out how fluffy they are like honestly it's so fluffy and delicious um, and so it is a, it's an Irish sheep blend. Charlie does the most beautiful blends of unusual breeds, which I just love to pieces. Um, it's a Kerry Hill sheep, Angora bunny and cashmere and tensile. It's such the coolest blend of stuff um, that I just, I don't know. It just feels so good. So I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out to spin. So I'm going to move this guy off here. Let me know if you guys can see everything. As I said before, it's been a long time since I've set up the spinning camera. So remind me if I, you know, take things out of the shop. If you've got any questions, go right ahead. You guys are writing some great things for the lace knitting tips. Um, and my spinning lace. Look, I think I will probably end up coming out more of a... Look, it's got... Yeah, it's probably lace. <laughs> yeah. Um... So oh, what I was going to do is I made a thing for Charlie. Here we go. Where you can get all of her goodies from. She has a, a blog that she puts out every week full of all sorts of amazing things. I have to be so restrained and and not and just not go too hard um, because I don't have the time anymore to do it all. And I get so disheartened because I've got these beautiful little puffs of stash of Charlie's stuff. And also, and also mine, which, you know, it's, it's awkward um, because I want to spin everything, but also look at, like, it takes time. And then I want to knit everything. I also want to crochet everything. I'd like to weave a few things as well. So I've just realized I dropped the chat down. There we go. You're back. Um, are you going to ply or leave it as a single? I'm totally going to ply. Um, so yeah, it might end up being a really light fingering, but like it'll be lace weight sort of ish. Um, Tara is, oh, here it goes. Don't, don't I sound, Kim says, don't I sound all fancy like I know what I'm talking about. Hey Kim, you know yarn. And this is just the production of yarn. So you know about single ply and plying and all that sort of stuff. Or singles, they're not single plies. Um, Tara's spinning merino tonight and Vicky loves this purple. Ah, oh, so do I, Vicky. It's so nice. And it's just got like these hints of grey and like these bright pops of sort of indigo-ish kinds of colour. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. It's totally beautiful. Um, someone's trying to message me on Facebook. Sorry, matey. Can't help you right now. Um, Elaine says, I spent... I spun some this past weekend, but I think I just made thread. I'm not really experienced and everyone kept stopping and saying, oh my God, it's so fine. So I think I may have done it wrong. No, 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 no. You're spinning. And if you spin really, really fine, 
if you ply it, if it's, if it's too fine for what you are comfortable to knit or crochet with, just ply it and you might be able to chain ply it so it becomes a three ply and you get it a bit thicker. Um, so there's, you know, you don't have to worry. It's all good. Um, Heather Pendergrass says, I'm loving this live. I've always wanted to see spinning being done. Thank you. Um, I'm the same. I want to crochet everything. So many whips, but I can't seem to finish them all. I totally understand. Um, I have a series, like the girls in here that, um, are regulars know my problem. I start so many things and just don't finish very many. It matches the bob. It doesn't. Does it match the? It matches the other bob, and it doesn't match in the bob that, that it's going on. Um, Chintamani is spinning a lovely light grey alpaca on her new tiny Turkish. Oh, I love Turkish spindles. They have such a place in my heart. I am normally a fan of supported spindles. I've just realised I still got my glasses on. That would explain why I'm struggling to read because I don't need them for reading. Um, I'll take them off. <laughs> oh, the world is so much clearer. I need them for driving, but not for reading. Um, so, yeah, like, sorry, I got lost for a second. There's, um, I am a support spindle fan. Like, I love support spindling. Um, but in saying that, I will, I've got so many cute little mini Turkish. And, like, my go-to Turkish spindle dealer is Scott Snyder. I love his Turkish spindles. And Ixchel Bunny's husband, Lair of the Bearded Dragon, makes the most beautiful support spindles. So I am got, I've got so many things, so many things. Um, what have we got here? The Gamer Widow is spinning on her new peacock. I got a little mini peacock thing. It's in the other room for my birthday and I haven't spun on it yet. I feel like, like I don't know what it is. I've just like, I just keep patting it. Um, I'm a lady of many talents. I am a, what is it? What do you call that thing? Where I can do lots of things, but I'm a master at none. Jack of all trades, but master at none. That's it. That's that's what I am. Um, oh, that's what I meant. The bobbin towards my feet. Yeah, that one's got some beautiful fine. Hang on, I'll pull it up. I'm spinning some. This one's got a bit of, um, I think it's Aurora on it. It's. I'm spinning that a little bit thicker. That's, sorry, that's the end. That's a bit fluffy. But yeah, that's some Aurora going on there. So that's, um, I can't remember exactly the content. It's like yak and yak and silk and something else and then hang on a second i will get this one this one here is some beautiful um oh that's blowing out because it's so white sorry guys it's um it's really fine i might be able to hold it up here it might be better no oh if i do that there you go you can see it a bit that's just some beautiful merino that i'm spinning in a really fine lace weight i hand combed it all and that one's taking a real long time. Also, it's white, so it's not as exciting to spin. I don't know why. Um, how do you get it from the puff you showed us to what you're doing now? Ah, oh, okay, so, hang on, I'll just move the chat to see exactly where on my hand you guys can see. Okay, so, I'm gonna bring you over my lap a bit more just for a second. So it's, I just pulled a piece off, I just literally pulled a chunk off and that's that there. And then what you do is you, um, there we go. I will, you gotta get treadling a little bit. See how you draft some fibers and pull it back and you kind of control how many go in. So if you want it real thick, you bring out heaps, but if you want it fine, you only let it take a little bit. And you're pinching to stop the twist because the second it twists, that's when it gets strength. I'm just going to move that back over there a little bit. Is that all right? You guys don't mind having that much of the table in the shot? Let me know if that's annoying and I will try and fix it back up again. Oops. Lost the chat. Come back, little chat. Oh, don't come back that big. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, do you want to hear a funny technology story? Yes, I do. Please go ahead, Kim. Um, Chintamani says, I have a drop spindle which I'm useless with. I'm really surprised how easy you find a Turkish. I'm the same. Like, seriously, I'm rubbish with drop spindles. But for some reason, the Turkish, I don't know. I can't answer that question because I'm in the same sort of boat. I just need to go over here because I want to go 
thumbs up the video you guys and click notifications and bells and all that sort of jazz um is that hang on is that the one you bought the other week the game um oh that kim's asking gaming widow a question nerdy says she loves her gear spindle i don't actually have a gear spindle i've been watching you make heaps of them and i'm so tempted um stacy says i love all styles of spindles see i am more of a um i like turkish but tend to be on the smaller side um i also have um a few russians i really like russians you know like the russian spindles i like their shape and they just they just work well for me um but i also like a nicely weighted tibetan um nerdy is cold it's it's freezing and rain and gloomy um oreo cookie says i'm going to switch to a mobile so she can keep the connection so i won't be able to see if i type in that Chantel. oh hang on hang on a second apparently there were two addresses on the package i sent ah oh, i'll have to chat to you later about that oreo i wonder what I think I know what it is. That's right. I'll sort that out. Thank you for the. I'll have a look into that. Um, a box or house number. I think that technically they're both correct. Um, the box is safer though. Um, Longclaw Clan loves spinning Pixie. Have you spun Pixie before? What colour do you have? Do you have the same one as me or have you got a different one? Um, Kim says at school. Um, Maddie has been looking at old-fashioned games, elastics, marbles, jacks. I love jacks um, and elastics. I was because I'm short. Elastics I failed at miserably, but I, I liked watching other kids play it. Um, and he asked his teacher what the first electronic game was. Nerdy is buying one now. Buy one now. I don't know what we're buying now. I'm confused. Let's buy all the things now. Um, um, she said she didn't know that she would research. Oh, that's cool. The gear spindle is awesome. Oh, sorry, buy gear spindle now. I, now I get it. Thank you, nerdy. Um, Kim says what he said was I can't Google it, but I'll ask Siri. <laughs> oh dear. Somehow I thought the yarn was dyed after it was spun. I'm sorry. No, no, Kirby. Honestly, um, when you when it's commercial yes it is spun first it's spun undyed um hang on a second i'm going to tilt this camera up i'm not sure if you can see but see those big cones under that table they're not very clear i know but that's all undyed that's when you buy commercial yarn um that's how it comes there we go i don't know if that's set back to right or not hang on i just need to move a box so i can see yep that's fine um yeah, I think the first electronic game was Pong as well, Jackie. Um, but yeah, Kirby, no, t totally. When when it's when there's yarn in a commercial dye house, it's normally spun then dyed. But when you're a hand spinner, you can spin the raw fleece and then dye it. Totally works. Um, I like to spin like my Aurora and my fibers, and then um, and then. I will um, dye them after I've spun them because I'm nervous about dyeing them before I spin them because they're so soft and delicate, they're gonna come apart. Um, yes, no, Nerdy, I got it, I got it. I'll, and I probably will get a gear spindle at some stage. Um, <laughs> thimbles, that's right. Those of you that don't have not seen the video of my brother touring the office with his crazy accent, they totally need to go and watch that video. Not right now, after the live chat, but you totally need to get watch it because my, my family are not the yarn craft at all and he came into the office with his having sort of a funny moment and uh, he stuck one on his thumb and was calling it the thimble. Um, so yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Is this, um, did I put the camera back okay? Can you guys see all right? Nerdy says my husband got me an e-reader for Mother's Day yes when is mother's day in the u.s like for us it's still a couple of weeks away or a week away it's like a week and a half i wonder if tim has sorted something out yet mm. um oh he got oh well that's cool i love e-readers he got himself one a while back and i covered it 
Yeah, my husband just bought himself a new um, 10-inch tablet for at home. Um, sorry, there's just a little bit of grass. Um, and I don't cover it much, but I'm thinking I really quite like the look of that. It's so nice and light. Like, my Surface Pro is quite light, but it's not as light as a, a, just a standard tablet. Um, Maddie's teacher said, and the difference between the generation that used encyclopedias generation that uses the internet and the one that doesn't even bother typing yeah i am in that weird generation where i grew up using encyclopedias um like as a child and as a teenager but then my first sort of job i had to learn how to use the internet for because i came in when i was about sort of 16 17 around there like general like where everyone at work has their own email address and stuff like that um so yeah, so it's it's weird, isn't it, how the different generations do stuff. In saying that, my mum is like Google Foo. She's getting really good at it. Um, and so she's truly embraced it. And she's, she's, she was always frustrated with encyclopedias, how they were out of date before we got access to them and things. Um, yeah, I, I like eBooks, um, but I tend to listen to more audio books just because I can listen while I'm doing stuff. Whereas with an ebook, you kind of have to sit and read it. And like, that's fine. But I tend to need to multitask, especially when it comes to something like a book. Um, I'm currently listening to, I'm listening to two books at the moment. Hang on, I'm just gonna pop that just there. Grab my phone and have a look at what ebooks I'm currently got going. I currently have Closed Casket, The New Hercule Poirot Mystery, narrated by Julian Rhine Tut. Love Julian Rhine Tut. He cracks me up. And then also, when I'm not in the mood for that, I am listening to, where is it? The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, narrated by Robert Digas. I have no idea if I'm saying those names right. Um, but that's what I'm going to say. Um... Hang on, I need to go back to where I was. But yeah, so, and I really, I really like a well-voiced audio book. Um, I get very frustrated with a book if the audio is less than stellar. Um, because I just, I don't know, I get, hang on, play so I can see what's going on. There we go. Um, I get frustrated, like I've got to listen to it for hours on end if the voice isn't good. Um, and I really appreciate that with Audible, you can actually listen to it for a minute to work out if the voice is going to like drive you insane. Simone said, the Friday Night Knitting Club is a great audio book. I will have to have a look at that one, Simone. That does sound good, which is kind of funny because on Friday nights, I'm part of a virtual knitting chat group. Um, so that's kind of appropriate and fun. I hope no one gets murdered. What app do I use my audiobooks? I'm an Audible user. I am a great lover of Audible. Um, if you guys decide you want to buy any Audible books, follow my Amazon shop link. And I've got a couple of my favorites in there and you can have a look. Um, hang on a second. But the paperweight won't have 4,000 notifications, no glare, and won't interfere with falling asleep. I don't listen to audio books while I'm falling. Well, I do. I listen to, there's one audio book that I listen to in another app. Um, it's the, the Trader Tales, the Solar Trader Tales series. I've been listening to that series of audio books over and over and over again for the last couple of years. And I, I put those on while I go to sleep because um, I'm a very light sleeper. And if I have that on, then I don't hear all the noises. Um, have all the MLC boxes arrived yet? Oh, I should probably check that. I'll check that out today, Kim. Um, I will double check that out today. I forgot to check, I'm sorry. I've been getting all the stuff ready for the next MLC box to go out, which I'm so excited about. Um, Longclaw says, oh my God, the name of the wind. Also totally recommend the slow regard of silent things. Narrated by Rothfuss himself. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig that out. You guys, can you pretty please with Crispies pop these comments over onto the Fibrific Fun Zone as well so that I can find them? Because sometimes it's a bit hard trawling through this whole chat to find everything. And I don't have a pen and paper today, I'm sorry. Um, 
where are we at? Um, Nerdy doesn't like audiobooks. That's totally fine, and that's why we have normal books. I'm see if I'm going to be reading a book, I like a dead paper edition, like a dead tree edition. I like to sit down and turn the pages. Um, but I do honestly tend to listen to audiobooks because I put, pop on my wireless headphones and I'll listen to an audiobook while I'm dying yarn and things like that. It's really fun. Um, where are we? I've been enjoying the Ag Agatha Raisin series read by Penelope Keith. Oh, see, I, I'm like, I'm we I, I have very weird tastes in books and things. I like science fiction, dystopian future stuff, all that kind of jazz. But I also love murder mysteries. I'm a huge Poirot and Agatha Christie fan. And I love Midsummer Murders and I love all those sorts of shows. Um, and it's it's a bit weird, I know. Oops, I got a bit thin there. Hang on a second. Just while I fix that. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, I've been... Uh, Notice says I'm slogging through a series of like five books in e format. Yep. When I read the Dead Tree edition, I try to pinch zoom. Oh, that's so funny. That's that's hilarious. Hey, you guys should have told me I needed to move my thing. I can't see it. You can see it better than I can. Um What kind of knitting it's like spinning buddies are you when you don't tell me I have to move my thing? Seriously. So back to our topical discussion of stress crafting are you guys like do you do the same thing as me or do you just craft like normal like and, and that helps with your stress i think uh, admittedly i'm under i'm under a fair amount of stress at the moment but um and that that is unusual for me i don't normally have that kind of level. and in saying that like seriously there's nothing i can do about the website right now i've got some really qualified people looking at it, trying to sort out what on earth is going on. And so there's not a lot I can do, but my brain's like, oh my God, the website, the website. Um, so yeah, so trying to come to groups and, and all that sort of stuff is really fun. But yeah, so I, I'm like, I do that. So I'm just gonna change our little banner here because we want it to keep moving around. We'll get it to the Mystery Lace Club. There we go. Um, here we go. Kirby says both. Sometimes I knit so I don't want to punch someone in the face, but usually knitting is a fun hobby when I'm bored. Yep. Yep. I totally agree. And that's the thing for me. Normally knitting and crochet just really help to relax me and um, temper me, which is kind of funny. But at the moment, I'm like at the, you know, like I will get this one done and I will finish this and I will do this. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. It's, I've, I've got the hiccups this morning, so I'm trying to cover it up. Um, Tyra says, nothing happens. Everything stops and I hibernate. I don't know why extreme stress makes me sleep. I'm pretty sure it's an avoidance technique. I totally understand, Tyra. Up until in the last sort of six, eight months, it's been mine as well like if there's like I and it's not a decision it's not a conscious decision it's like I'm just so tired I'll just lay down for a little while um and then you wake up and you realize you've been asleep but yeah I totally understand but I think having to like go to the office each day to get things done means that I can't do that whereas before when I was working from home my bed was right there um Nerdy says she buries herself in a book. See, I can't concentrate on a book when I'm when I'm doing that. Um, Andrew says I sit and stare at my projects and end up watching TV, glaring at the projects that are taunting me. I I that's what I was saying at the beginning of this stream, Andrea was I either sit and just like veg at the television, and that's sort of when my husband realizes there's something wrong, is if I'm so, like, I don't even know if stressed is the word but so overwhelmed that I can't even concentrate on like a couch project, which they're normally pretty dull. They're just like the crochet blankets and stuff like that. They're not too stressful so I can watch TV. Um, here we go. I missed, some, I missed someone's comment. Um, Kim says, sometimes my crafting makes me want to punch someone in the face, <laughs> usually when they interrupt my stitch count. We totally need a hat that we can wear that says don't try it. 
Um, sometimes I want to punch people in the throat. Wow, we're a violent bunch because you know what? I I too like to think about punching people in the throat. Sometimes it stops them from talking. Um, people, there's there's stash patters. Nerdy says um, that she pats her stash, so that would work. Um, it depends on the whip I have going on. It requires stitch count. I don't crochet with stress. Yeah, that's the thing. If I'm stressed out, there's a lot of projects I just can't work on. Um, but I found that yesterday I just buried myself in this project that I'm working on for you guys. And it was it it was like checking a pattern, making sure all the stitch counts are correct. So it was pretty intensive for that kind of um, avoidance. But it seemed to work, which was good, like burying myself in the actual process of it, I think really helped. Um, and at the end of it, I was sort of feeling that I really achieved something like this is done and this is ready and I can show you guys in the next few weeks when some I've got to wait for some other stuff but yeah and so it's really exciting that something so positive and so good has sort of happened so that's pretty cool um where are we I've missed some chat I'm just having a quick read you guys um I, I keep going back to nerdy saying she wants to punch people in the throat because I'm smiling because I'm like totally no I totally understand Nerdy says she shreds cheese. Andrew has been known to throw her projects across the room. I don't tend to do that for one main reason, which is I have a dog that would um, totally help me with the project if I threw it, if that makes sense. Um, I missed what Julie said first. I've seen her second comment. I use it to help with dealing with stress and to ignore my husband at times. <laughs> oh, I use headphones and an audio book for that. Um, I must look funny when I'm mad knitting. I think we all look funny when we're mad knitting. Um, I imagine in my mind, I'm a cheese in a cheese shredding contest. Jeez, I can't say that sentence. Thanks, nerdy, for trying to get that one in my mouth um sally says sometimes her whips stress her out especially the stitch counts uh, especially if the stitch down doesn't come out right and that's when i want to throw it across the room um i totally understand and i especially get frustrated if i've pulled it out and redone it and pulled it out and redone it and it keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming then i finally go and check somewhere and it's like no no the pattern's wrong and you're just like ah i've done this six times so yeah that's that's a good one i love that one that one's great um <laughs> the resting knit face <laughs> my resting spinning face is nearly sleepy it's like this i like um hang on a second i'll just get like super comfy i'll just be like that's how i spin and i'll be at shows and stuff spinning and people be like you look so relaxed and i'm like i am spinning totally relaxes me i need to take my spinning wheel back home it's been living here at the office um and i totally need to take it home because the other thing is i want to finish this purple fluff now um i need to think of a wedding anniversary present for my husband do you think he'd like a spotlight voucher totally he'd totally love a spotlight voucher and if he doesn't use it in time maybe you might have to use it although we don't have time limits on our vouchers now do we or is that just some companies i don't know i have to look into that some more because if there if there are no limits anymore i need to fix up my system a bit um <laughs> i had my husband counting stitches for me the other night every time i count i got different numbers he gave up and lost count for the first time <laughs> oh dear when i'm stressed i can't count stitches to save myself yeah if i'm stressed there's got to be 11 million stitch markers like every 10 stitches because otherwise i'm just gonna lose it um knitting stockinette makes me fall asleep oh kim me too that's part of the struggle i'm having with this with um the chickadee jumper now is it's all stockinette from here on in and I'm just like, with, you know, there's some decreases and increases and stuff, but there's nothing else. So I'll be knitting along and just be like, 
just t totally nodding off like and they're like oh 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 i have to re-knit those last couple of stitches they're a bit baggy but yeah it's really bizarre it's totally bizarre do you know the downside of spinning is you forget you've got a coffee and your coffee's going cold i'm going to finish off this little bit of fluff in my hand here and then i'm going to have a sip of my coffee um notice says i kind of want to knit a half circle shawl then you totally need to knit a half circle shawl there's so many free patterns for the half circle um where are we i use a counter wrap i put the phone on the floor and tap it with my toe every 10 stitches that's actually really clever kim that's very clever except my feet don't reach the floor when i'm in the couch so <laughs> it's one of those things um i find it really meditative to c compared to anything else Oh, look, I bet it is. It's like me with spinning. I think I find now that I'm sitting here doing it because I haven't spun at home for quite some time. Um, I'm finding it very relaxing. I'm feeling my whole like shoulders relax and everything's just like, oh. Game of Widow's been researching Scottish lace hap shawls. Oh my gosh. They look phenomenal. You'll have to put up some po posts need to pop some photos over in the fiberific fun zone so we can all have a little squiz um i'm gonna have a sip of my coffee mm. can you feel the tension falling off in waves yes i totally can um let me have a look here stuff's moving around quite quickly you girls are chatting how many likes are there you guys have we got a few today um i don't mind purling now i pearl portuguese style oh how did your portuguese knitting go you were just learning it last time we were chatting um until you see us tonight and we'll stress you out yes tonight you guys is caffeinated crafters thank you for the reminder kim i've been looking forward to it all week abby's on camp so there'll be no like pre-caffeinated crafters argument of her wanting to come and me saying no it's a school night um i'm just tearing off the next piece we're coming up to some gray um although i'm not going to pull off any of the gray it's still just the indigo to the purple there we go do, 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 do. um but yeah it's um sorry what all i do sorry so that because i had realized that here it's out of the look of both cameras is i just give it a little pull just to separate out the staples, just a smidge. I don't do it too much at this stage. It just makes it a bit easier for while I'm spinning. Makes it all fluffy and open up a bit more. Um, Notice says she wishes she had a coffee. I said six, nine, and then we talk in the car park for half an hour. Why do we do that? I don't know why we do that, Kim. We just do, and I do it everywhere. It's And it's not even with you guys. Like I'll walk out of somewhere and then I'll just stand there chatting with someone for ages. Um, spinning is meditation. It totally is. Andrea's off to make coffee. I totally understand. Marion sent a super chat. Marion, thank you for that super chat. That's awesome. Um, Marion's going away for a month. See us in June. Got to go now. Have a coffee on me. Oh, thank you, Marion. That's brilliant. You have a fantastic holiday. Or I hope it's a holiday. I'm assuming going away for a month is a holiday. Um, see me in June. See you then um i will you have a fantastic trip and thank you i'm totally having a coffee on you for sure um i have a stitching bitch on my birthday that's fantastic nerdy that's so cool um uh oh here we go jackie says oh i need to know about pearling portuguese i hate pearling and the march mystery lace club has so much of it um yeah sorry um i believe april also consists of a fair bit of pearling and i'm looking at the may pattern at the moment and yes it also has pearling so yeah you got you you'll have to oh i've got a little i've got a little bumpy bit just got to flatten it out um yes so yeah <laughs> guess who is going to new zealand in a in july for a week fantastic game of widows please don't say it's bendigo week because you know i'm looking forward to seeing your face at bendigo um 
also when is it when's the other thing um i'm down in bendigo in J july and then i'm down in melbourne in s it's the last weekend of august it's like the 30th of august and then the first of september um so what do you call that end of august early september it makes it sound like i'm there for ages um hand washing dishes sucks yes it does totally um Pearling doesn't bother me. I don't care. Like, you know, why don't they do, why don't they garter stitch lace? Because it doesn't sit flat like how lace is supposed to. I normally will do garter stitch around sections of lace to make the lace pop out more. Pearling is pants. I thought, I didn't know many people who use the word pants as negative like, like I do, but that's awesome, nerdy. Um, the week before, oh, so you're going to be a bit like, oh, should I go to Bendigo or not? Um, it comes with lace. You've got to get back to the start somehow. That's right. Some patterns have, um, like a lot of the patterns I've been sending out are, are not, um, it's, it's only, the, the lace pattern is only on the front. So you end up purling back rows. Whereas there's some lace patterns that you actually do the lace knitting on the wrong side as well. So there's less just straight purling, but you sometimes will have to purl two stitches together and do stuff while it's in a purl, but it's weird. Um, Sally says, I haven't been to Bendigo in years. Well, Sally, you totally need to come to the Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show. We have so much fun down there. and We're a little bit naughty. If you think we're naughty in this chat, goodness me. Um, Oh, hey, hey, Bob Wilson. How did your, you had a, another video chat this morning with your Patreon members. How did that go? Um, it's the invasions of Australians. Well, I'm Australian, you guys, and it's a good time zone for us. Pants is an English thing. Oh, there you go. Um, Gamer Widows says so she's definitely going to Bendigo. That is good. Um, Aussie, 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 oi, 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 for sure. Um, well, I, I'm well versed in Britishisms. Excellent. Bendigo was booked first. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, do you, oh, Kim's asking Rebecca if she uses the pins or if she goes around the neck for tension in her Portuguese knitting. We'd all love to know that one if you don't mind sharing. Um, oh, Kim, Rebecca and Rebecca does both. I've just got to get, I just need to change my um drag in a little bit it's just not going in quite fast enough um a tad to travel and i don't have the dosh i understand totally it's fine um it was fun oh i'm glad it was fun that's great um oh hey jolene welcome to the chat um the stressful part of knitting for me is picking out yarn at walmart there's so many colors I, I get that. I, I understand the walking in and seeing the wall of yarn and just being like, what do I need? And then, you know, you, then you see these photos of people with like 400, like they've got a trolley full of yarn and you're just like, oh man, I can't do that. I totally can't do that. Um, Kim says, I'm not sure I can do the around the neck thing. Does it make the yarn fluff up when it runs over your clothes or do you have it against your neck rather than your clothes? Um, Sally, you are you you are Australian, hey, but you're not on the eastern seaboard, is that correct? Because it might be a case of we might have to organise a Fibrifian meetup one year, not this year. Um, where did you say you were going August, September? I'm going to VidCon in Melbourne. Um, so, and I tend to go down for a day or two extra on each side just so I can chillax hang out, catch up with friends, because i got a few friends down there. Um, we had a meetup last year, didn't we, you guys? There was a group of you, Marion and and the Gamer Widows, I think. I'm not sure who else. No, that was it, I think. I, I don't know, but we, we went and had lunch, and it was fun. So, um, yeah, I want your yarn ball wall, <laughs> but I'm too poor. I'm too poor. That's all stock, you guys. I don't get to have that. Although in saying that, I do have a serious amount of yarn at home that I have curated and collected over the last 15 years. Um, I blew 30 bucks of my husband's money at Walmart. Good. 
Oh yeah, oh duh, Bob Wilson one two three. Yeah, I've only been talking about VidCon for ages. Hang on a second, I'm gonna move this chat because the chat is covering the overhand shot of my bobbin, which would tell me what you guys have not told me, which is I need to move my sliding hook. You're terrible at this. You're all terrible at it. No one's telling me to move my slider hook. They're just bad at this job. Oh, you're in Adelaide. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of people from Adelaide who do come over, but you do, you have to plan. Um, I mean, I, I go down from Brisbane, so, but I mean, I've, I'm technically working. So it's easier to slip that into your calendar. It's like, ooh, that's a work trip. Have to do it. <laughs> um, you know, it's one of those things. Um, it re no, not really fluffs up. So, oh yeah. So when you when it's rubbing over your clothes, it doesn't really fluff up. We are too busy reading the chat. I've noticed you guys. No one's chatting with me. I'm just sitting here by myself. Like, uh, um, our game widows is concentrating on her own spinning. Oh, goodness me, that's terrible. I think I'll just have to have some coffee. Um, so I'm just going to pop up the link again for Ixchel Bunny's stuff. This stuff, this, um, here we go. I lost my chat, there it is. Um, this pixie tops that I'm spinning at the moment is so nice. Hang on a second, just realised there we go um i've got three screens open which i shouldn't have open um so i'm i am spinning that's right jolene i'm spinning pixie tops from ixchel bunny it's an irish sheep breed blend kerry i'm reading it it's i'm reading the tag i don't know it off my heart kerry hill sheep angora bunny cashmere and tensile um i've got this beautiful 100 gram braid um, and it's in these just amazing purples and sort of a bit of grey, little smidges of like a bluey indigo colour. But gosh, it's so lovely. And it just, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's not like merino soft, but it's really soft. Like I can, I'm totally going to be able to wear this on my, on, around my neck and stuff, even though I'm really sensitive. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good. Are you going to Redlands? Yes, I am. So that is, is it June 16th? I have to double check the calendar. It's a Tuesday in June. I can tell you that much off the top of my head. Um, that's an amazing open day. That's huge. Um, if you can get down to the Redlands Performing Arts Center on, on that date, I'll try, I'll find a link somewhere or something or other and put it up in the, in the group. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, Oh, it's one of those things. I have no idea about, Sally says, I have no idea about spinning, but it looks good to me. Yeah, I oh, look, it's it's one of those things. You don't have to know anything about spinning to touch the fluff and know if you like it. Because it's, it's just like yarn in that regard. It's just so, you either like it or you don't like it when you touch. Um, I'm sitting, uh, yeah, so, so you either know you like it or you don't like it. And it's one of those things. You, you know when you touch some yarns and you're like oh that one's a bit scratchy or oh that one's squishy it's the same deal with fluff it really is um we just get to pat it longer because we get to pat it in this form then we get to pat it as we ply it and then we get to pat it again while we knit or crochet with it so we just prolong our enjoyment that's all we're doing we're hogging all the enjoyment um Rebecca says her tension is better with the pin. We, you can get all the pins and stuff from um, Knit Picks, I think. Um, Jolene says, cool, I've never spun yarn or seen it done. Well, now you're watching it be done. So that is cool. Um, Bob Wilson says she's sitting here working on emails and listening to the fibrific fun. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Bob Wilson. It's one of those things where you don't have to sort of be glued to the screen. And I think that's what's really cool about these live chats is that you can sort of just be listening while you're doing other stuff. But when you look up at the screen, it's not boring. Like it's not just a, a black static screen, if that makes sense. Um, or at least I try to make it not boring anyway. It's my goal. Less boring, more awesome. <laughs> um, extra love or drool. Look, sometimes it's totally drool, especially if you fall asleep. You know, it's just too bad. So sad. Uh, my mum looks at me funny when I poke the yarn at the store. I'm not kidding. I went to a store. 
it was a long time ago so i don't know if they're still there or if they're under the same ownership but all the yarn was packaged up in bags and you were not allowed to touch it unless you were purchasing it and i was like but i'm not going to purchase it if i can't feel it and they're like oh well and so i literally walked out of a yarn store with nothing because they wouldn't let me pat any of the yarn and they're like all our yarn is quality we don't need you to pat it to work it out if it's good or not and i'm like no but i need to pat it to work out if it's going to set me off or not but yeah so i left that store and bought nothing i wonder how many other people would um andrew says i've tried this row five times now and it's still not working andrew are you coming to caffeinated crafters tonight because if you are we can go over it um where am I? I don't suppose you're coming to the Canberra celebration of Wool Week End. I am not. And I will tell you why. Because I didn't know it was a thing until only a couple of weeks ago. And I can't plan it into my schedule at that sort of notice. But I want to look at it for next year and find out if that, you know, if I can go down or it's because it's a quite a way for me i do have to kind of plan these things out but it looks amazing it really looks amazing and i just i didn't know it existed like that's the thing some people get miffy that i don't go to their events but sometimes i don't know they're there i'm in a little cocoon up here you guys we don't have much in brisbane um and so i try to keep my ears out but um i miss stuff totally so make sure if you've got an event or something that you think that i would enjoy um, or even if I could set up a stall out, I don't have to set up a stall, but if I could set a stall up, it's a lot easier for me to swing being able to go, even if it's just a little stall. Um, let me know, like contact me on, you know, Facebook or Instagram or email or however, because I totally would, um, would be interested in some of these other events. I've been invited to a few of the camps again, and the camps are awkward for me just in so much that um it's i don't know i i sometimes i i need to be able to like crash somewhere else and oh my gosh thank you bob wilson she said have a drink on me i, w I will for sure i have my coffee but i'll totally grab another drink on you thank you so much for super chatting that is just awesome super chats are brilliant i'll tell you why super chats are brilliant you guys even if you super chat say one dollar i don't know if you can super chat one dollar but just say you super chat one dollar um then it is the equivalent of approximately about 500 to a thousand views of my videos like it sounds weird but one dollar from you guys directly is a huge deal for me it's a huge deal so thank you so much for four dollars bob wilson that's brilliant um, um you'll have to come to canberra next and you can stay with me i live walking distance from it oh jackie that sounds brilliant um kim is message talking about something i would think that you guys are um kim, oh, kim is being naughty about super chats again move the slider what's wrong with the slider oh i can't actually remove it from the screen i can make it so there's less um i can make it so there's no words on it but the purple box is there i don't have a a plain screen without it just yet i'll i'll get one so that i can go in and out um i'm gonna go because i can i can go like this or with a slider but what I can do is I can move my hand forward a little bit just to help you guys out a bit sorry about that I didn't realize you wanted to see I know it's a bit weird um hang on I'm adding way too much much twist uh, 4,000 of me now there's a scary thought yes that is actually a terrifying thought um, oh the bobbin thing oh you're right oh my gosh thank you Kirby thank you i wasn't even thinking of that slider ah you're brilliant thank you see you guys kirby is on on the case i just had no idea what she was talking about for a second took me a second sliding hook that's it brilliant thank you kirby you are a legend um um 
go on Etsy and type Portuguese knitting pin and there's a list from different shops including Andrea Wong's Etsy store. Oh, there you go. So um, I'm nearly finished my next bit of fluff here, you guys. I think that the big problem I'm having is because I, I want the chat so I can read it, but it's it's sitting over the top of my screen, so I can't see. Let's see if I can do that. There you go. Then I can see, I can't see my head, but that's okay. I don't need to be able to see my head, but it means I can see here a bit better and I can work out what you guys can and can't see. Um, so yeah, uh, where are we here? You need a woolly winder. Look, I've been looking at woolly winders. I really have. But I love my coloured bobbins a lot. And I have a few of them. I've got I've got, um, I've got, um, some lime green ones, which I love, which came with my wheel. And then I've got a couple of purple ones. And I'm totally getting myself some of those eastern blue ones because they are so nice. And the problem with the woolly winders is you can't use any of your coloured bobbins. You have to use their specially adjusted bobbins. Um, see, we tell you when you don't even know what we're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. The slider thingy. It's all right. I know now. It's fine. I put, I believe it or not, I've put the chat back over the top of the picture again. Um, what does the slider do? The slider actually is a guide. And what you do is your yarn comes in through here and then goes up through this guide so it doesn't catch on the bobbin and get worn. And then it actually makes it so that it can feed the bobbin evenly. So you can slide it along to slowly feed into different places on your bobbin. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a guide. It's just a guide to make things sort of go, and it'll go straight down. Because if you tried and feed it all from one end, you'd have a really tight lump here and it would all be baggy and horrible here and it could actually damage your yarn. Um, Kirby says, I was so nervous about Etsy shopping, but so far it's been pleasant. Etsy is diabolical just because I want all the things on it. That's all. I, and I agree with you, nerdy. You guys, I'm covered in purple fluff. Why did I not put... I've got normally a little apron -y thing I put down. I didn't even think about it. I just was like, let's spin the yarn. Um, I only bought a couple of small items when on there to find a leather thimble and a US tape measure. I tend to buy spindles. <laughs> I tend to just shop at Scott Not Snyder Spindles and buy spindles. Um, Rebecca says, I can do Continental, but I'm mainly a thrower. There is a mini skip truck next door. Oh my gosh, they're so loud. Can you go and tell him to just be a bit quiet? Oh, speaking of loud things, my car, which is exceptionally loud at the moment because there's a crack in the exhaust, um, is in the car, Doctor hopefully getting fixed today that's that's my goal is for it to be fixed um i would like it to be oops hang on i pulled that a bit too much um i would like for it to be less noisy yes um oh there we go joining on the yarn etsy can get me in trouble too many things i want yeah i i like I try not to go Etsy and I try not to go Pinterest very often because they're both a rabbit holes for me. Um, wonder how easy it is to adjust to Portuguese if you're continental. I don't know. Can we do Avengers spoilers? No, we cannot because even if everybody in the chat has seen the movie or is not going to see it or whatever, there might be people in the replay who have not seen the movie. But we can talk about it tonight, Kim, because I think everybody tonight has now seen it. So we can talk in person about it and about how much we hate Thanos. Um, so yeah. Um, I go shop around briefly once a month after payday and then break the rest of the month. I have no deliveries. I've had no deliveries this week. Oh, Sally, that must be weird. After all your weeks of lots and lots of deliveries for getting things started and sorted out. Student loans in the US are a nightmare, aren't they? I'm not sure how they work in Australia. I actually personally didn't go to university, so I don't have one. Um, but yeah, it's from what I hear in the US, it's ridiculous. 
It's not it's not the same setup here though. Um, I get bored of Pinterest quickly. Um, well, the thing for me is I have a lot of different interests, and so it's very easy for me to start in one place and end in another. Um, it's quite weird. There's a game that we play on on the PlayStation with my daughter. What's it called? It's like knowledge is power or something like that. And depending on how people and like, because you have to choose which door to go through for different questions, um, you get asked different types of questions. And one day we were sort of like, how do we get into sports questions? And my husband was really happy and the rest of us were a bit like, um, but it's one of those things you're sort of based on one in one search and then another search and another search, this other thing will come up. Um, but yeah. Game Widow says my uni hex debt, hex debts are the same as um, student loans in Australia, that's what we call them, is just bubbling away, getting bits paid off at, at every tax time. Yep, and that's that's how I think my brother-in-law's is doing as well. I think everyone's is pretty much the same over here. Um, Jennifer says it looks online, uh, I looked online at the Margecraft site and it sees their wheels come in kits, are they hard to assemble? No, they're really not. Basically, you just have to put on their feet, which is just some screws. Um, and even though like the book says, oh, you've got to do this, that and the other thing, sometimes those things are already done. They just have it down so that they can, they, they still come in a fairly decent sized box, but they basically make it so they don't have to come in a box this size. So the head, um, you would need to attach this head, but that's just a bolt through there. And I think, there's not a lot there's really not a lot and it's the instructions are exceptionally clear so um they're not hard at all actually and if you if you're in brisbane and you're worried about it you can always um like order it and i can put it together for you it's not difficult at all if you've got a screwdriver you're pretty well right um so yeah then they're not tricky at all i put this one together <laughs> And it works winning but yeah it's basically there's some screws under the treadles that need to get put on and then um, you're normally just attaching the height pieces really um, how about May mystery lace spoilers no May mystery lace spoilers nope none happening I'm getting much better at this and I'm not going to give away anything about the May mystery lace club um, yes so for those of you wondering about the spinning process, see topic change, um, after you've spun it and then you ply it, which is where you get the two bobbins together and run it back through the other way so they lock together and don't come undone when you're working on them, which I'm sure we'll do one day, then I give it a wash um, just to, like there's multiple schools of thought about, um, about setting twist or what have you. Now for me, I wash it not so much to set the twist, but all this has been through my greasy, greasy hands. You know, like I, I try and keep my hands pretty clean and I try to be pretty good about it, but hands are dirty. They're one of the dirtiest parts of your body. And so I like to give it a wash. So I am a tan tech user and I use delicate wash. I don't know if you can see that might be a bit blown out. Smells really nice. Doesn't mess with any of my allergies, which I really love. Um, and then I just let it, I hang it on the yarn, I hang it on the line and let it dry. I don't weight things, generally speaking. I like the springiness and the loftiness, um, especially because like a lot of hand, like a lot of commercial spun yarns don't have the same sort of loftiness. Stop it, Kim. I'm going to have to block you. Um, they don't have the same sort of loftiness because of how they're, how they're spun. Whereas with hand spun yarns, which I know I've got one out on the table I could show you. They've got a lot more squish to them um, and they, they're a lot more lofty and a lot more springy. That's one of the big advantages of using hand spun, I think. Um, um, oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, I want some of that. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, I'm assuming you mean this. You want some of this? I'll just, I'll give you a little read. It can be used on wool, alpaca, and natural fibers. Use cold or warm water, never hot wash. You can actually toss this in. Like if you're machine washing something, you can toss this in with your machine wash as well. Um, 
I actually normally hand wash a lot of things, so I've just put it in a sink with just about 10 mils in there with for one or two things. But here for a top loader, it's 20 mils um, for a small load, 40 mils for a large load. For a front loader, use half the quantity and select your wool or gentle cycle. Delicate wash may be rinsed out, but is also suitable for non-rinse as it contains a bit of lanolin. So you can leave it there. Oh, yeah, so here we go. 20 mils for 10 litre tub. Um, do not stretch. Squeeze by hand. It's colour safe. And it may be used as a low sensitive laundry detergent. I didn't even know that. So yeah. Where are the ingredients? You. On the front it says safe for use with biocycle and grey water systems. It's colour fast. It's antibacterial. Brightens colours, restores luster, safe for sheep skins, contains tea tree oil and lemon myrtle. Oh, here we go. Ingredients. Um, there's, it's very small writing, you guys. It's, I think it says non-ionic surfactant. Um, there's a dispersant conditioning sulfide oil comprising of neat's feet oil and coconut oil. There's tea, oh, maybe you can, um, tea tree oil, lemon myrtle and a big long word but there's only like 0.0048% of that so yeah so there's like there's lots of it's I like it and it smells a bit like lemon myrtle which I really like anyway sorry YouTube had logged her out momentarily oh my gosh um I've been lazing with setting the twist I've just been leaving it until I use it look Stacy honestly normally I do too I'm not like a setting the twist Nazi some people are like full-on like you must set the twist before you use the yarn nope um, sometimes I've been known to knit it straight off the bobbin like depending on what I'm making I'll knit it straight off a bobbin um, but I like to wash it just because I like to get I like to get it clean is more my issue and also I like to wash it because Especially if I haven't dyed it and I don't know how it's been dyed, um, I want to um, I want to make sure the colours aren't going to run before I use it. Um, so yeah, it's been it's it's insane. Uh, hang on a sec. There is no comparison between knitting with hand spun and knitting with commercial yarn. Hand spun is amazing. Oh, it totally is. I agree with you, Jennifer. I totally agree. It's a different ball game. It's a totally different ball game um it's not in it so it's not a squeeze bottle. oh it totally is this is a little 100 mil sample bottle so you still get the 500 mil squeeze bottle with the little measurer this is just a little sample size so i just i had one handy so i just grabbed it to show you the squeeze bottle ones are in a box i would have had to dig it out but no they're totally there um you can get it in the 100 mil sample you can get the 500 mil bottle with the little measure i think your oil measurings for your car where you've got to squeeze it and pour it in it's like that kind of thing or if you're hardcore you can get it in a five liter bottle with a spigot um, <laughs> so yeah it's it's a bit crazy um, I bought a peppermint and mini rose oh they sound gorgeous um, they're dead oh some rose hips are dead Roses are really hardy. They really are. Like I've accidentally run one over with a lawnmower and it grew back. Don't ask me how you accidentally run over a rose with a lawnmower. But anyway, I didn't, I wasn't really watching what I was doing. And it was not in a garden bed. It was just in the yard. And it's, anyway, it's, it's back. It's fine. It's totally fine. I had a haircut and it grew back. Um, when I first started spinning, I used to wash my singles before I applied and it would take another day to dry and now I don't like to wait. Yeah, I don't wash my singles before I apply because, you know, lazy. Um, and I think it would, I don't want to set the twist in my single. I want to set the twist once it's been applied together. So, so I don't know if you can see this very clearly, but when it's under tension, it's straight. But when you let it go, it twists together. So that's probably more like the yarn. I'll see if I can bring it up. That's probably more similar to what the yarn is that I'm going to get. So it's lofty and soft, um, but still well applied. I'm pretty happy with that. And I can always tighten the ply if I want, and I can add more twists and tighten it if I want to make it tighter. But I quite like it like that. Um, Chantel the Rose Murderer. Yes, but it, it didn't die. It, it came back. It took a while, but it did. 
Um, can we get 50 likes before the chat ends? Wow, that would be awesome if we could get 50 likes before the chat ends. I don't know how many people are in the chat. I can't see it from these screens. Um, I used to, oh, there we go. I've already read that one. You've only got the 500 mil on my side. I know, because these are brand new and the shipment only just came. So they're not up yet. They won't be up for a little while, I don't think. I've, I'm deciding what to do about them. Um, roses have all come back. They do. Um, Nerdy says she only sees two likes. You might need to refresh, Nerdy. With the likes and stuff on your screen, sometimes they don't change. Looks like it'll be a light fingering. Yeah, probably like a, or, you know, like that section will be. Because, um, like, I, I don't spin to sell, honestly. I spin for me. And so I'm not super hardcore about it. I know of some people that are really hardcore. Like, you know, I've got that bit there that's probably a smidge thicker. And I'll have sections that are definitely thinner. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Um, 18 watching right now. Thank you, Kim. And thank you to the 18 of you watching right now. And there's 35 likes. How does that work? So maybe someone came in and liked and left. Oh, yeah, well, you've, there's a few that have already left that I know of. So, yeah. Um, I'll tell her to wait a while before she yanks her rose bushes out then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so where am I at in this chat? I've lost it. Um, want me to add a link to your wash if you would like Bob Wilson oh I don't think you have a spanner at the moment Claire Kim's got a spanner on she might be able to pop a link in um, but um, yeah sorry Claire I didn't I didn't give you a spanner today um, mine says five waiting lol stupid app yeah I don't know what's going on honestly I have no idea what's going on um, but yeah, something happened with my live stream setup today and I had to put in a new stream key. And it's not just live, it's live too. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to have a look at it. But we're all here. We're all going. It all worked. So yeah. Yeah, Bob Wilson, you don't have your um your spanner on. Hang on a second. I can give you a spanner. I think I can give you a spanner real quick. Add moderator. Bob Wilson is now moderator. There you go, Bob Wilson. You've got a spanner. But Kim's beat you to the link. So you guys, I've been modding and having fun modding Kim. I can totally see why you enjoy modding. Um, over on Bob Wilson 123's U channel for her. Um, no, no, you've got a spanner now, Bob. It's okay. You don't have to cry. Um, <laughs> I gave you the spanner. Um, but yeah, so I've been modding over on um, Bob Wilson 123's YouTube channel. And it's been so fun over there. She's got a really, it's a different approach and it's a different bunch of people. And it just, it feels really good. Like it's, it's different to you guys. We, I don't know. I think I just know you guys better. So I don't know all of you better, but I know some of you better. Um, and so it feels a bit different, but I'm, I'm relaxing more. I am relaxing more. Bob Wilson and Kim are having a spanner fight. So, um, I'm just going to sit back on and see how that turns out. Um, I don't have a baby, but I babysit a lot. Okay. I think I've missed something there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, oh. hey, you guys, it's quarter past 11. We've only got 15 minutes left. That's insane. Come on. I'm not that different. Am I? No, you're not. You're fine. You're totally fine. Um, but yet, no, what I'm saying is that it's just a different group. Daigo, hey, you're here. You made it. Congratulations. Um, so, yeah, so I've been like modding over on the, the Bob Wilson 123 YouTube channel and I've been making some new friends over there. So you hang on. I've just got a little piece of grass or something. Well, that is a little stick. Get rid of that. Um, and so, yeah, so there's not going to be a two hour chat, Kim. I've got work to do before I have to go to Caffeinated Crafters. Stop it. You're, you're a troublemaker, you are. You're a riot inciter. Um, but yeah, so I've been making some new friends over on the Bob Wilson 123. So those guys and girls have been coming over to hang out with us. So you'll probably be seeing some new faces in the Fiberific Fun Zone and here in the chat as well. So, you know, 
just be yourselves and be nice. Don't be mean to people. Not that I would ever expect any of you to be mean to people. What, what's going on? Ah, oh, nothing important. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> Bob's, Bob Wilson says, I do a fabulous job modding and I have... And, she, and I have a lot to live up to. <laughs> oh, no. It's just... I, I, Bob, Bob Wilson's channel has a lot more links to put in than, than what we do. So, you know, it's fun. Like, it's... it's I don't know. I have fun hunting for the links and throwing them in in hopeful... Excuse me. In hopefully timely manner. And it's like a race with myself. That's actually something I was doing... Yeah, the last chat that you had, I was probably should have been doing something else, but I was so stressed out, I just needed to step back. So modding for you for that half an hour was brilliant. Um, so yeah, so that was that was awesome. Giggling at Claire and Kim, yeah, they're totally they're totally being naughty. Look at them. Aren't aren't you guys supposed to be like making sure no one else is being naughty, or is it making sure they're not being naughty, but it doesn't mean you're not allowed to be naughty? I'm not I'm not quite sure how that works. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so this afternoon I've got, you know, the standard Thursday stuff, order packing, all that kind of thing. Um, have a little look at my website to see if it's been fixed yet. Look guys, it's technically up. And if you follow links that take you to specific pages, it totally works. And the carts work and everything like that works. And it's looking, sh when you're looking at the actual, um, products they look so good in the new setup they really do but there's something happening with the home page so sometimes when it loads you only load the first section and the menus don't really work very well so what I find which is so stupid to be having to say this is if I go to something like the mystery lace club and then log in from there um, and then I type in the search bar what I want everything comes up so I've got some people looking at it um, to try and work out what's going on. They're proper WordPress developers. Um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the menu is busted. The menu, so there's sections of it that do work. So the, the things that go to an actual page, like um, going to the Mystery Lace Club works, going to the blog works, going to the promotions page works, but it's the pages that are trying to link to categories like knitting or crochet they don't work but if you literally type knitting or crochet in the little search box at the top everything comes up so it's just frustrating that there's some sort of disconnect and then the whole thing with the front page sometimes it loads sometimes it doesn't load so i had a little look at that this afternoon and see if, if there's been any progress made there and then i'm off to um then I'm off to Caffeinated Crafters tonight, which I am so hanging out for. So if any of you are in Brisbane and can make it to Browns Plains um, Village Square, I always forget the Village Square, Browns Plains Village Square Coffee Club, we're there from about six till nine, hanging out, knitting, crocheting, being cheeky, harassing the staff. They're used to us, they really are. Um, so yeah, it's it's one of those things. Look, Claire, Claire got a link in. Right click for the Mystery Lace Club. Thank you, Claire. Oh, her order is at the post office and I think I need to sneak down. I thought you were going to wait until tomorrow, Claire. But um, that was fast. That was really fast it got there. Um, Sally says, I need to check if you have the size needles I need. Sally, if I don't, send me a message. I'm putting an order in this week. So um, then I can um, totally add it and get them in for you. Um, Kim says it's not too late to jump on a plane if you're not in Brisbane. Do you have crochet patterns on your website? I'm just trying to think. I'm not sure if I've got any... I've got a couple of things, but I don't do a lot of patterns, Jolene. Um, I've got a few things that are coming as well, but I tend to sort of just show stuff like... Um, I've got my Dragon Scales Cow YouTube video and um, I don't actually have a written pattern for that at all. It's just watch the video and once you've sort of got the knack of what you've got to do, you don't really need a pattern. Um, but I've got a couple of other things that teach techniques, but there's not very much there. Don't get your hopes up, Jolene. Um, Claire says, I know, but I have to squish of the yarns. I totally get it. 
I would be getting in the car and going down for sure. Um, you're after an 8 mil 24 inch circular. I probably I may not have one that size, but I can totally get one. Do you like bamboo or do you like stainless steel? And then do you like the knit red with the little elbow? Or do you like the nice pointy ones? Because I like the pointy ones. So yeah, so Sally, if you want to send me a PM, um, either through Instagram, Facebook, or even an email, um, that would be sales at fiberific.com.au, just with what you want to get, then um, let me know and I'll see what I can organize for you. The dragonfly wristlet pattern is there. Yeah, it totally is, but that's a knitting pattern. Um, so, and also the dragonfly wristlet pattern is on Ravelry as well. Um, that's a free pattern that with, um, so those of you that are in the Mystery Lace Club, you've dealt with the Boo Knits pattern. It's a variation on her, um, it's a variation of her, her dragonfly shawl. Um, and, and I asked her if, if she would mind if I used the lace portion for a little technique I wanted to, to practice. So it was like a little, um, a little taste of bead knitting for people without the, the like a little taste of bead knitting with lace, but without the whole like got to do a shawl. It's just a small project of some little wristlets just to keep your wrists warm. And I just found it really good. I think you only end up having to place like 50 beads in total. And it's just a really cute one. Um, Bob Wilson's site has lots of crochet patterns. It totally does. Um, tons, tons. Hey, Claire, pop a link into your site um, so that so that these guys can get some crochet patterns. Although I think Jolene has hit, hit Claire's site because Jolene found me from Claire, I think. Um, Rebecca's working on some socks at the moment and Nerdy says, I'm knitting a lace scarf. I also have socks and crochet too. I totally understand. I totally understand having multiple projects on the go because that is what I'm about. Um, I'm still working on the gra crafter granny for my supervisor. Um, so yeah, it's, you've got it. It's one, it's, that's a big, that's a big blanket though, isn't it? I, I can't remember exactly which one that is. Um, Sally says, it's all good. I just found Chowdhury stainless steel on your website. Oh, I'm glad that you managed to find it. Um, do I, did I have the eight? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to have a look. Um, and Kim's popped in a link. Thank you so much. I don't know if it will work out. It's um, Chowdhury is the bee's knees. Yeah, like if you guys have hung out with me before, you know how I feel about Chowgu. I am a total tragic to the point where I won't sell another needle if I'm not as happy with it. And I haven't found any I'm as happy with as I am with the Chowgu. And I've, I've used a lot of different needles and I just love the tips and I love the joins and I love the quality of the cables, even on the nylons, you know. So, yeah. Um, Andrea says that she's about to throw this shawl across the room and work on her MKC. I don't know what an MKC is. Um, Claire has popped in a link for her um, for her written patterns. Right click. Yeah, don't forget to right click, you guys. Says you have two in stock, then there's a pretty good chance there's two in stock. So if you want to jump in and order, you totally can. How's higher, higher? Look, um, I think they're okay personally. I'm not a fan. I find them to be just that little bit too sharp, um, but they are a decent quality needle for sure. And there will definitely be people who prefer those over the chow goos because we all have different taste, but I'm the boss here. And so um, the boss here at Fiberific, that is not the boss of you guys. Um, and so I, t I just stick with the chow goos. So, um, also, it's very difficult to have a decent selection of sizes and types if you've got multiple um, multiple brands because that's a huge like commitment. And my business is not quite my business isn't there. Oh, you're going to move on to your MLC spell check. Okay, totally get it. Um, stabby mix stabby. Yeah, like look, I've got a friend who doesn't use needles any bigger than a two mil, and she loves the higher highs. She um, 
is a like seriously hardcore lace knitter. Um, it's all she ever does and she likes the higher highs, but I just can't get into them myself. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the thing for me. I'm a big fan of the Chowgoo Red Cable. That is what has won me over. A big part of it is I have a cat called Mr. Tibbles and he is a lovely cat. He's a big old mooch ball and he's, he's a mountain lion who tries to sit in, in like the little section of your hip um, where he used to sit when he was a teeny tiny kitten. But if you're knitting, he tends to chew on stuff. And so when I had my, was it my knit pros? I can't tell you how many cables I had to have replaced because he chewed through them. And then he sat down with me the first day I got my chow goose and he could not chew through them. I, and there was a little bit of rough plastic that I smoothed over but he could not destroy them and I was like ah in your face Mr. Tibbles so yeah um someone needs to fire that Mr. Autocorrect I totally agree I had the worst autocorrect hang on it's a terrible story and then we have to go you guys because it's 11 30 but I oh get on there you I sent Abby a message on um what was it whatsapp or something like that and she replies back to me with, actually, I'll see if I can find it. It might have been Facebook, but I'll double check WhatsApp first. Um, no, it wasn't that, so it must have been Facebook. Hang on a second. Messenger, Abby. Because I need to tell you the whole thing. Um, where is it? Where are we? Is that it? Oh. She'd asked me if I had done the light load of washing yet because she had some socks she wanted done in them, right? Um, and I replied with, no, it was just more socks and the jumper that you're currently wearing. And then she replies back with, what? This is, um, hang on, I'll, I'll just move this over. I don't want to say it out loud, so I'm going to see if the camera can see it. She replies back with, what? And all these faces. But that was what it changed it to. No, it wasn't socks. Changed the word socks to something else. And that was to my 13-year-old daughter. So thank you so much, Mr. Spellcheck, for that one. Because I wrote socks. I correctly spelt socks. And that's what happened. It was evil and bad. And Spellcheck made my daughter laugh her guts out. I'm not kidding. I could hear the tummy rumbling from two rooms away. She was laughing so much. So that was the day before she left for camp. <laughs> so she's been on camp all week and I really, really miss her, which is weird. Don't tell her, you guys. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, you couldn't read it? Let's just say it, it was not a word at all related to socks, but more to do with men's parts. So, um, yeah, it changed socks to men's parts. <laughs> so she was just like, what? What? Um, uh, but it has three letters. No, no, it has more than three letters. No, that's all right. Um, yeah, Kim, you can message her all you want because all her tech's at home and she's out sleeping in a tent somewhere. Oh, your kiddo's home now had fun at surfing camp. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. It, it wasn't pens. It wasn't the pens one. It was the, 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 the D one. It was the D one. Like a word for rooster. No, see, that would have made more sense, Nerdy Stitcher. That would have made way more sense than what it came up with. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. It was like Rick's, but with the D. <laughs> instead of socks uh andrew says my dishwasher won't be repaired for another two weeks oh my god rhymes with x that's exactly right it rhymes with x and i'm just like no oh my god and she's come out laughing and she's like oh did you did you mean to do that and i'm like no i really didn't it was socks i wrote socks but yeah it was it was really bad it was very bad um but anyway you guys it has been so much fun chatting and spinning with you 
Um, I cannot wait. I'm actually going to take this home and spin on the weekend. So my goal will be to spin all of this. I basically, in our chat today, spun about that much. Oh, here we go. You can't see it. About this much twice. Um, so now we have the rest of this to do. <laughs> There's heaps to go. It's going to take forever. Um, but I would really love to have that at least spun by the end of the weekend. I'm just trying to think if I've got anything on this weekend. I probably do. Um, but you guys have a fantastic time. I'll see those of you that come to Caffeinated Crafters tonight. I'll see you there. Um, and Claire, as Claire says, hit the like button, you guys. This is a um, Marjorie Susie Pro with a custom purple wheel and um, and whirl. For those that were wondering, um, yeah, at least it would be clean. Oh gosh, Kim. All right. I can, you can't tell me what to do. That's true, I can't. But what I can do is hit the stop streaming button. Um, I will catch you all later and I will, um, yeah, have a great week. It, sorry, my brain is melted because you guys are still writing stuff and I'm trying not to read it. Um, <laughs> you guys have a great week and I'll catch you all for the live um, in the Fibrific Fun Zone. Uh, on the Yeah, on, on the Fibrific Fun Zone tomorrow for Fibrific and Friday. Um, that will probably be a little bit late just because I have an appointment I have to go to. Um, and then hopefully I can try and get an Instagram done this weekend, but it may not happen. So, you know, maybe not. Catch you all later. Bye.